Julia Vandesheva works at a small coffee shop that doesn't provide health insurance to its employees. Beginning January 1st, she'll be required by law to buy her own coverage or face a penalty. I am a grief with, with this system and not at the same time because I think if, if someone needs health insurance, they're going to get it no matter what, if government will tell you to do it or if not, if it will be your choice. People like Julia will get to choose what plan they want. One way is through the health insurance marketplace or exchange run by the federal or state government. It will allow people to compare and pick a private plan based on rates and coverage. California is one of a few states that's already set up an exchange. They have an online resource where you can calculate premiums. Some think this is a good resource and a good gauge of what you can expect. All you have to do is plug in your household size and your income, add your ages, and a family of three, as you see, with a $50,000 income, would have a premium of $657, a tax credit of $315, for a total monthly bill of $343, or roughly $4,000 a year. Sharon Robbins, a certified Affordable Care Act insurance specialist, says no one can be denied coverage because of pre-existing conditions. So it would naturally stand to reason that rates will go up because they're going to have to insure everyone no matter what their health status is. That's going to do this arm? Yeah. But the aim of Obamacare is to make insurance more affordable through competition, streamlining, and tax credits for lower income participants. All plans in the exchange will offer certain essential health benefits, but there are four tiers of coverage, ranging from lower quality, more affordable plans with higher deductibles, to more expensive ones that offer better coverage and lower deductibles. Where we may have thousands of plans today, we're going to be much more limited in the new market come January 1, 2014. The health insurance marketplace is meant to simplify medical coverage, and the people who still don't buy in will face a penalty. But some may find the penalty easier to swallow than the premium. I think it will put a lot of pressure on some people who are not able to pay for the insurance. There is, there is a reason why some people don't get it. In Hendersonville, Frank Ferboni, News 13.